I've given you the link to the Pixlr X photo editor. When you go to this link, you'll log in the first time using your Google account, and then you'll get a landing page that kind of looks like this. You're going to go ahead and open image, and you're going to use the YouTube banner template that I've given you. So when you open it up, you'll get, um, do you want to resize the image? And you don't. You want to open the original. And you'll get an image that looks like this. Now, this is a template for your YouTube channel banner that shows you everything where it says text and logo safe area. That's the stuff that's always going to show. Now, if you're on a TV, you will see all of this. If you are on a desktop, you will only see this horizontal bar. If you're on mobile, you will only see the text and logo safe area. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take this template that I've given you and you're going to add some layers to create your channel banner. So the first thing I'd recommend you do is click on text. So I clicked on the plus sign to add a layer and then to add text. I'm going to go and change my font to something that I like. Go ahead, click through, pick some different things. Um, I'm going to create a banner for my son's channel, which is called Iggy TV. Um, we're going to make that capital. We're going to scroll down. Let's make sure that that text is white. The size, I'm going to make it larger so that it like fits inside. You can move it around and stuff. So it fits inside that safe area. Mm, let's see what else I get. I can make an outline. His favorite color is purple, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make his name with the purple. Um, looks good. Then I'm gonna click the plus, and I'm gonna add uh, another layer. I'm gonna add an image, and this time I'm gonna add a little YouTube logo that I got off the internet. I'm gonna put that in there. So I'm gonna actually click and move Iggy TV over a little bit, and then make that bigger. Now I'm adhering to this dark gray bar here so that that's what will show up on um, if you go to this channel on mobile. Um, now I really need some sort of like main background picture. Um, it's kind of nice to actually use an image. So I'm going to add another image layer and this time I've actually found a photograph already um, that's called night sky image or something like that. And I'm going to resize it so that it fits on that TV size. So this whole main size here. And then I'm going to actually move it. So I'm going to click and drag and move it behind everything else. So you can see how it looks in comparison to um, when it's layered behind my other images. Now, if I click on these three dots, the layer settings, I can actually adjust my transparency. And now I can see how that looks in relation to uh, my template. Here's the important thing. I have to go to my template, double click it to unlock it, click the three dots and turn the transparency to zero. Now that makes the template go away. You don't want those template lines there. You just want to see your main picture with the elements that you put there. Now I can click on save and I can save this as, let's call it Iggy TV banner. And you can save it as PNG or JPEG. It probably doesn't matter in this particular case. Keep the width and height the same and hit download. Now, Iggy TV banner, save in my downloads. Um, what I can do now is I can actually show this banner, double click on it, and that is my final banner. So now when I upload it to YouTube, it doesn't matter um, if it's mobile or desktop or TV, you're going to see the main stuff here, which is Iggy TV and the YouTube logo and the background picture. So that's what I want. So you're going to take that image you will be embedding that image or inserting that image onto your um, Google Slides file so that I can see it along with some uh, background kind of reflective information.